What's going on everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kieran. Uh, welcome to another poor audio quality video from this laptop that every day gives me grievance. Um, I hope that you guys are doing alright. Uh, today I am going to be doing a new moon reading. Um, so the new moon's on August 18th. This is just going to simply be some, some messages really for, for this new time period. Okay, New moons are always about new. Okay, They're not very... Uh, I don't have to go into detail too much there, but new moons are, of course, about this uh, this new energy that comes in, allowing for some kind of clean, fresh start in your life and your energy that can allow you to enact certain things that you're wishing to do. Maybe you had them in the back of your head, projects, things like that. So it's a new, fresh energy that's coming on, uh, coming into your life, coming into the collective on August 18th. I think that's a couple days away. Um, so if today is uh, Sunday, I think it'll be on Tuesday. Okay. Um, so, that being said, I got some decks here, and I'm going to get into the uh, the reading. So this is just, we're going to get, get into this, um, some energy first to see what's really coming in here, okay? Uh, so yeah, so dear spirit guides, ancestors, beings of love and light, please come in, surround this reading with truth and wisdom, and help out this collective as much as we can. So let's get a some energy for for uh, for this new moon, spirit. Let's see what's coming in, okay? <clears throat> All right, so what energy is coming this way? New moon energy, what energy? Yeah, okay, first card that we have coming out here is the Wheel of Fortune. So already with the new moon, we have this element of newness, freshness, clean, uh, clarity. We have, we, we have this, um, this, this slate that is, getting, uh, that, that is getting wiped off and ready for some kind of newness to come in, right? So we have this Wheel of Fortune that really signifies this uh, really signifies the the the, gra the gravity of the situation and, and how important this moon this moon is for many of you actually because the wheel of fortune is is fate it's kind of destiny turning that wheel so for many of you you may have been struggling with emotional issues financial issues personal issues spiritual issues um, family issues whatever it may be whatever sort of string of bad luck or trials and tribulations and obstacles you've had to experience recently this new moon is first and foremost turning the events of your life okay so it's turning them into a more positive change so it's essentially saying that you're entering into a lucky period here so this new moon for many of you is bringing in luck and uh and maybe some some good opportunities because of that luck right the luck luck manifests differently for every uh every person i i think i'm pr i've never really given it much thought to be honest but i'm i i think that i believe in luck a little bit of luck anyway but we can certainly uh, I do also believe in that make your own luck saying okay so yeah look at that we have the ace of wands coming after so what it's bringing in here is that opportunity this is that opportunity to travel for some of you uh, this is the opportunity to start a new job this is the opportunity for just more passion in your life so whatever energy because we are talking about energy here what the wheel is turning here towards you whatever how it manifests as in travel or job it's passion so the, the spark in your life is coming back to you. This new moon is bringing in some passionate new energy that will allow you to go even further into your projects, even further into your ideas, and really help you with that, with that discipline, right? Ha having the energy to really complete all of your tasks. And generally speaking, just allow you to, to feel a little bit more alive, okay? So if you've been feeling a little bit drained or zombie-like the last month or so, uh, don't worry. This Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, is really coming in here from this new moon to, to bring in some fresh new energy. The Ace is great, okay? Especially after a new moon reading, because unlike a full moon, which is more of a completion, new moon is, again, um, being ready to, it's a great time to start new things and not wrap things up. So any project, stuff like that, great time so ace is that beginning that opportunity okay so what else do we have for this new moon energy i'm not used to shuffling like this i just thought i would shuffle uh, in front of the camera so people could see uh, we have this lover's card so this is about choices this is about things coming into your life uh, paths crossroads essentially you know this could be that relationship that that tr twin flame relationship the, the soulmate relationship this could be the uh, the job that you've wanted this could be um, a path that is opening up to you the lovers card here really talks about this this new mood bringing in um, 
bringing in something that is going to be a reflection of love. Okay, so this could be something coming back from the past. It could be that that relationship, the twin flame, if they're in separation. It could be the, um, it could be of course the, uh, the the jobs, the, the the offers that you've been wanting. But but this lovers card as an energy really speaks to this to this element of having to make choices in your life. Okay, so so there is like some some fresh energy coming in that is really going to allow this uh, something to blossom in your life. Okay, the lover's card, you know, it's not negative by any means, um, but it really depends on what you do with it. It's really about going down this path. So next to Ace of Wands, it really tells me that there's this opportunity at hand for some, for something important. Okay, it could be a love relationship with the lover's card. It could be just an important job. It could be an offer of some kind, but something energetically is really coming in here to allow you guys to feel, um, to just feel like a, a, a little bit better than you have been. Okay. Um, yeah, look, uh, two cards fell. I'm going to pick out the one that I saw, um, but it's the Six of Pentacles, okay? Now, this is a gift. This is something unexpected, okay? Now, having it next to the Lover's card, really almost like a gift, getting a gift from somebody, a gift from a partner, romantic interest, um, but a gift from the universe nonetheless. Something coming in to, to the, that lucky, right? It's a financial card. It's something that you, you don't see coming. It's, uh, it's like that lottery win. You don't necessarily deserve it, um, not in a matter of self-worth, but you don't see it coming. So the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in this, uh, this, this powerful, this change, this lucky period, and, and that's going to bring in some financial gains for some of you. Uh, but the gift can come in many, in, in many forms, in, in many different ways. Um, but yeah, for for a lot of you guys, with this new moon bringing in some balance to your life, with some kind of good news uh, related to to finances, jobs, again, could be the relationship. Uh, but but yeah, there is some balance coming in here. Something to help you out is coming in. So you guys definitely are entering into a lucky period. I'm going to get one last card here just to see what's going on. And yeah, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is about making decisions and confidence and not being afraid to speak your mind. So whatever's coming in for you guys, it's going to leave you feeling much more confident and able to speak your mind about certain topics and truths that you probably in the past have... Uh, shied away from right this could be something as simple as what you're going through spiritually this could be just about what you want to do with your life and it could just be about stop taking other people's shit you know um, however you see that however it resonates with you the queen of swords is yes feminine energy um, you don't have to be female for it to resonate but it is it is talking about this this element of of, of truly standing within some kind of truth for yourself okay so you have some confidence and some real mental some mental strength coming in as a result of this lucky period. You actually, this lucky period, I think, is really going to cause this this element of confidence because I, I read it like uh, like a story, and the Queen of Swords at the end here is telling me that this this lucky period, this this gains, this kind of rebalancing, this this gift, this choice, this relationship, this thing that comes in, this passion, that is a lucky period is going to leave you feeling much more confident and a little bit more level-headed and where you feel that you can confidently stand up for yourself, speak your truth and not be afraid of what the consequences might be. Uh, maybe, you know, you're, you have to live with somebody you don't want to live with or, you're, you know, you're not really sure, you can't really speak your truth because you're in a precarious situation. But then, you know, because of all this lucky period, you kind of get situated again, balanced out, and then you have a little bit more free, uh, free space to really clear your mind and just say what needs to be said without fear of anything bad happening, okay? So you've probably been biting your tongue for now, but there's going to be good opportunities to speak your truth in the future, okay? So there's some energy coming in, very, very positive for this new moon, okay? I want to kind of get a little bit of advice from Spirit using this deck right here. So dear Spirit, what advice do you have for, uh, for people during this new moon period, August 18th, okay? Let's see what we can get. I'm probably going to get three cards here out of this purple, purple deck. Okay, all right, let's see. Yeah, so we have we have the power card. So as advice, this is really talking about coming into your power. This is like the strength card in the traditional tarot. Uh, power is really, um, well, it is about empowerment, okay? It's about having confidence in yourself and a belief system, which kind of matches up with that queen of swords. So really, you can see this this older this older man here is, is strong as of the, his other half, okay? He's basically living with this powerful beast inside of him. And it's controlled. There's a blend. It's a balance, too, okay? It's not taking over. In fact, it looks quite calm. Uh, this person clearly wise, strong, like that lion energy, okay? So as an advice card, it's really talking about 
about coming into your own power, about really doing things to push yourself out of your boundary, to do things where you feel strong, okay? This is more energy about standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in. This is gonna be an important time for you in this new moon to really start shifting, not so much your negative thoughts, which is always important, but to, but rather than, rather than worry about shifting all of your thoughts, this is talking about, this is really talking about coming in and just doing what it is that you want to do. This is unapologetically doing what it is that you love because that gives you power, okay? So this is a focus on your, your energy and your, your personal empowerment. And sometimes, oftentimes actually, it's not about logic. It, that's not really how you get things done. Logic is how you plan to get things done, but how you actually get things done is through willpower and that is comes from strength which is what this power card is talking about so it's talking about having the strength to just move on be strong during this time because things are actually going to get better so don't don't give up okay there's that strong energy of not giving up what else um what other energy do we got going on here okay we have this uh we have this transformation card so that makes sense next to this power card so this is like the uh the death card okay so as an advice card, death would be really saying, just give into the changes, surrender. This is about surrendering, okay? This is about letting yourself be transformed from that um, from that little kind of insignificant creature that you might feel like, or that larva, caterpillar stage, um, uh, cocoon stage, right? And really to come into that butterfly, right? Because this woman has the wings on her back. So she is actually transforming, um, but it isn't, it isn't an easy process and that's why it's about staying strong. So this is really coming together as stay strong through this change. If you're resonating with this, it's probably because your life is undergoing some kind of personal change right now. And what's important is that you keep persisting through this change. Uh, you know, don't, don't resist the change too much. Let yourself fall into it as much as you can, because that will mean that it'll make this lucky period easier for you. Uh, everything that's meant to come in will be able to really come in. Okay? You don't want just parts of it to come in. You want all of it to come in. So don't resist it, don't resist it too much. This is just simple things. It could be, you know, bad habits, bad patterns, mental thinking uh, things. But ultimately, this the biggest message that I get is really just about surrendering to the changes that are coming in, okay? So your life might be taking difficult turns. Things might be shifting for you. Rather than try to control everything, just let everything that's meant to die, die in your life, okay? That could be parts of yourself, um, but oftentimes, you know, it could just be other aspects of your life. And everything in your life is a reflection of you anyway. So if something externally is dying, it also represents a part of you internally dying. So if you can match those up and, and really come to terms with that, the changes are gonna be, uh, they're gonna happen much quicker, okay? And we have this emotional withdrawal card. So as an advice card, this is talking about spending some time on your own, uh, walking away from things that don't serve you. You have this character here kind of praying to uh, to the ocean here. If you're near the water, if you're near nature, spend some time in it as much as you can. This is a natural element to it. Um, we have two eights here, eight, eight, right? August, the month of August here. Um, and if you think an eight plus eight uh, is uh, is 13, transformation. And, um, and it's only 13 if you completely ignore the rules of math. But anyway, uh, it's close though. Is it worth mentioning? No, it isn't. But the eight of cups, which is what this card is, is all about walking away, taking a break, shifting your energy from what doesn't serve you to what might serve you. So take some time away to, to really connect with yourself, um, to connect with some of that energy of walking away, of what you're really trying to accomplish here. And you might need to spend some time, uh, you know, cleansing yourself and just taking some time to really sit and relax. And again, there's a strong element of, of letting go here of what doesn't serve you, okay? So truthfully, don't resist the changes. Allow what's happening to unfold perfectly and the empowerment, the strength, that's really, you know, don't give up, don't stop believing in yourself, right? Come into that power, just try for even just, even just a day, try loving your journey, try loving what you're going through, okay? Because you might not feel so good about yourself all the time, but if you can love your journey and understand that it's meant to be for you and you're experiencing exactly what you're meant to experience, you can come into that power and feel like no matter what, you are still doing what is being asked of you. And you might feel a little bit more stronger knowing that you're secure in your place currently in your own specific time zone, okay? Your, your timeline, all right? Um, not time zone, as in like where you are. Though certainly I would hope you feel secure there too. Okay, so other than that, I'm just gonna pull a little bit more cards. 
just to get uh, an outcome uh, for the month of uh, for this new moon really so what is going to be a result spirit of of this energy coming in what is coming in what good news is really coming towards this that this collective i'm reading for for this new moon okay so we're going to get three cards yeah we have the sun card immediately coming out so this is a major arcana this is one of the best cards to get in the deck i would say it is to be honest but the sun card is just joy it's the sun after the darkness right so dark is before the dawn the sun is coming out you have this white horse to represent purity innocence and this crow bringing in this ribbon here to really herald in this new time it's literally bringing in the sun so whatever's coming as a result of this wheel of fortune this energy it's leaving the sun energy coming in. So this is you feeling lighter. This is the good news. This is the happiness, the joy, the childlike innocence, okay? This is whatever you've been hoping for to come in. It's coming. The sun card is it's coming, okay? This is beautiful energy to get. And it's, it's coming in to let you know the darkest times are behind you because the wheel of fortune, whatever has left your life in the past three weeks, four weeks, even beyond that, it's for the best because something more positive is coming in. We have the sun card, okay? So you are gonna be feeling lighter, more uh, more happy, more filled with joy. Let's see what else we can get for this, um, for, what, for what this energy is gonna bring in as, as events in your life. What kind of good news? Two more cards. Yeah, we have um, another major arcana here. We have powerful energy. The Hierophant, okay? This is about tradition, this is about the key, the wisdom to, to really understanding yourself, okay? So what we have here is we have events coming into your life that are gonna bring you wisdom, that are gonna make you understand your path yourself and really connect you a little bit more to the, to the, to the, to the, to the um, sorry, I just had a stroke, uh, to, the, um, <laughs> to, the, to the divine source within you, okay? You have this religious um, church-like background, okay? Um, but separate of that, it talks about connecting to the spirit guides, connecting to your um, to your faith, to your specific belief set, to your belief system. Okay, uh, I'm not uh, I'm not a fan of religion. I don't um, I'm not a fan of the traditional idea of God. Uh, but the hierophant goes beyond that. It talks about your personal faith, your personal traditional outlook on things, and how you connect to that. So having that after the sun card is talking about really good news coming in that's going to allow you to understand uh, a lot more about your life, to feel a little bit more connected again after maybe a period of disconnection from spirit. This is really about your, your spiritual wisdom coming in. So you guys are gonna get some of the answers that you've been looking for. You're gonna get that, that key that you've been looking for. Um, and of course, that could be a literal symbol for many of you, such as an apartment or a place, but a key, unlocking wisdom. So some truth or element coming in here for you guys to really unlock some elements of your life, okay? There's that wisdom, that spiritual love and divine truth coming in to help you guys. And then finally, three major arcanas in a row, we have the star card. So this is hope, faith, healing, goodness, kindness. This is a period of longevity for you, okay? So there is not only some healing, some beautiful rejuvenation coming in for your spiritual mental body, but as just a strict event, this is talking about situations coming into your life to help heal every aspect of what has been going wrong, okay? So this is hope and faith and beauty in all, in all of it, in, in just your whole life, okay? So this is joyousness, youthfulness, feeling light, feeling fun, having what you need, what you're hoping for and praying for coming true. Wisdom, truth coming in here, okay? Feeling a connection again to spirit. And then finally feeling rejuvenated and healed and fresh and feeling more open-hearted and kind and just much more loving than you would have been in the past, okay? So this is beautiful energy for this new moon. Whatever's coming in for you guys, uh, specifically in your own personal experience it is going to leave you feeling much more fulfilled calm complete wise youthful free the pain is going to evaporate so please go into that energy as you experience it good or bad allow yourself to feel it allow yourself to go with the flow of your day of your emotions and that is going to allow this energy to naturally come in if you resist it or you or you're too much in your head about it and you're too scared you might miss some of it and so it's important that you really just take a step back and, and, and just sit back and watch your life unfold for the time being. It's easier said than done, but if you can really just allow the things to happen, this new moon is going to really bring in a fresh new clean slate, just like the star card indicates. And you guys don't have to do anything. Don't think you have to do anything. Just let go. 
beautiful energy is coming, a lucky period, but a lucky period is coming nonetheless. So no matter what you do, the Wheel of Fortune is saying that there is good news coming, but do try to uh, loosen your grip because it just allows things to come in a little bit more quickly and a little bit more efficiently. Okay, guys, I hope this reading was helpful. Um, just a quick reminder that I'm doing a buy one, get one free, day, uh, free reading, buy one, get one free readings uh, for the month of August. So if you're interested, uh, by all means, um, information is in the description box. Otherwise, I'm happy that you guys are subscribing and watching my videos, and I hope that you guys are having a good weekend. Okay, talk soon.